Hello, I'm Jen. Hi, I'm Graham. And together, and together we, we are the Woolly Cod Wanderers. <laughs> Saturday, spent the whole day sanding this whole van down, but it's a job that needed to be done, uh, so it's done. So that's the positive side of it. And we spent most of Sunday trying to clean up the mess. Anyway, in the meantime, while I've been getting on with that, Jane's been painting the uh, door fronts for the cupboards and obviously the top boxes. Now, originally, we went with this paint here, which is from Dulux. It's designed for bathrooms, um, but it was a colour we liked. So I went with that and it's called Misty Mirror. So that's the colour we decided to go with because it went so nice with the suites. Uh, you know, the cushion seats that we have, not suites, isn't it? Hey, I, I've, it's been a long day. It's been hard doing all that sounding, honestly. Anyway, if you'd like to watch this video, you'll see what happened. Right, these are the doors. Well, this is the bathroom door, uh, which we've used the uh, ESP on. Then, you know, we'd sanded first, then put ESP on, and then we put the emulsion on, uh, the paint, sorry, on. But as you can see, all the cracking in it, because obviously this piece of ply is splintering, it's because of its age. So we're going to have to take that off on this door, and also on all these five doors as well so that's the next job but the color although it went lovely with the suite it just doesn't seem to be the right shade for the van so what we've done is on this other door which i'll put next to it you can see this color which is the gray and that goes so much better so well, this is the color that we're going to be painting all of these doors with so better crack on right if you remember we we're uncertain about underneath the unit here whether to paint the ply board that we were put in there well we decided to paint it so this is what we've got so it's in three pieces so we've got this one here as you can see all the the holes for the lights pre-drilled so they've got that one and this one which go on the long one here along there and then we've got this little small one which is the one that's going to go under here so now we've got them painted we need to now look at fix them in place with the lights through them so that's the next job to do so as you see by that um, the darker colour was the better of the two which is again from the same it's a dulux again uh easy care bathroom one and it's the one pewter. Pewter. pewter pewter i will pronounce it pewter pewter yeah i call it pewter <laughs> anyway so that's the paint we've gone with so obviously you saw in that video that all the backs had to come up so we took all the backs off 
these ones now and Jane's done the uh, the first coat I think on these Jane is it or the second coat on these? Can't remember. Right. So anyway they're cleared off now we don't know whether to actually put the backing on and leave it a different colour or what I don't know that's something we're thinking about however so we had so many uh, door fronts like this and then we had I think it's three one one two three that were newer ones and we got these from a, a place in Durham with Durham Spennymore way um, where it's a camp, uh, caravan like salvage yard there's loads of stuff in there I'd call in to see them and that's when we got these for uh, and because obviously these are newer the paint's gone on this fine there's no indication of cracking or anything so that's those bits so we're on to that but coming towards the ceiling um, we're going with uh, where is it here somewhere there we go Osmos is it no Osmo, Osmo. I hope God. and we've gone with the uh, the matte clear because the reason we went with the matte clear is we like the we keep want to keep it as a oh a shed it's a shed on wheels our little log cabin our little shed whatever anyway so that's the stuff that we're going to use on there and just to give you an idea of what it comes out like this is our table that we've done now on this side i think i've done it done one coat sanded it the second coat then sanded it i'm going to put a bit of beeswax finish on the top so that's the finish you get so i don't know if you can notice the color difference but that's the tabletop that's fine but the bottom we've only put the one coat on and looking at it you wouldn't think there's anything on it because it's soaked that much whether it's because we're using pine or what i don't know but it's really really soaked into uh, the wood so that needs a light sand and another coat down but that's hopefully going to be the finish that we get throughout the camper van but uh, it's probably going to take a few coats for that but as long as today I can get one coat on it all so we've got it started to be sealed and soaking in so that's what we need to do now oh and there was one other thing do you remember those shelves we were doing well I'll show you them now right so on the last one we were showing you that we put the shelf in but we hadn't finished the end well now we've got it finished so what we've done it's a case of the same uh, soft pine skirting that we've had which has been glued and screwed and we've rounded that off and then what we've done here where the wood finished is we've put just a bit of uh, tongue and groove which I've tried to be creative with and create a little bit of a shape so from there we come to above the door which originally what uh, we've used 2B1 to make a little frame and then we've just used tongue and groove that we've coated round which is all glued and screwed so that's all been put into place and sanded like the rest of this and um, so we've still got a bit of dust on you see i need to use my fiber was it jane is it called the microfiber yeah so i need to use a microfiber cloth now just on the ceiling and the walls and then we can get on and get some osmos oil put on is it osmos have i said it wrong again no have I said right this time? Yeah. Um, anyway, so it's only a little short one, but that's where we're at. So better crack on. Bye for now.